What this example illustrates is if anyone accepts the initial final categorization, then you've got to argue for your life in order to retain sola fide, acceptance with God and peace with regard to standing before him. That's the knock-on effect. Now, it's the demonstrative sense that is to be preferred um, for several reasons that I don't have time to go into now. What I want to point out to you is this. Well, let me just say this. What James 2 is concerned about is someone who makes a claim that isn't real. And in order to demonstrate the unreality of the claim, what he does is to look for the demonstration of the reality of what is claimed. There's no demonstration. There's no reality. Demonstration is at the very heart of this whole section. Now, it's not without significance that our confessional documents do not use the word justification with regard to the final judgment. You look at those excerpts and look for the verbs that are used or the nouns that are used. You will not find the term justification there. They speak of perfection, of vindication, or open acknowledgement and acquittal. Why? Did they insist on it in one setting and abstain from using it in the other? Well, you know the answer. It is because they wanted to make clear that justification of a sinner by God through faith in Christ takes place fully, finally, irrevocably in this life and not at the bar of God. <clears throat> 